was reading some wrestling news early this morning. Very early fucking video. I'm fucking tired. Gotta go to work soon. Gotta keep this quick. Jim Ross has retired from the WWE. Um, I remember back in the fucking day, WCW Power Hour, I think it was called, when I first started watching WCW with Jim Ross, uh, calling the action. Goes to WWE, became a fucking legend, calling them Steve Austin matches, all of that. Nowadays, the commentary sucks. They don't even talk about the moves. Jim Ross would make the wrestlers look like fucking, look, look like a million bucks. Every move, he would make it sound, you know, good. He would make the wrestlers look better. The moves would look more vicious because of Jim Ross's reaction. Stuff like this. Paco! 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 Stunner! 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 You know, Jim Ross was a, a big chunk of wrestling. When we watched wrestling, we heard the voice of Jim Ross calling the action. He was a big part of the wrestling experience. And sadly, you know, they let him go because he was too old. And he wasn't a pretty boy, which is why he was replaced by Michael Cole. Because he wasn't, uh, you know, because of this new entertainment bullshit. I guess they thought that JR was too, like, southern or too old-fashioned, too wrestling to be on the show. So they replaced him with Michael Cole. And the show went fucking downhill since then. Uh, they don't even talk about the fucking moves nowadays. <laughs> Straight up, it's just bullshit talk there. They just tell stories that aren't even good. Don't even concentrate on the fucking moves. Stupid. Um, and apparently, um, Jim Ross was let go because of Ric Flair. Ric Flair got drunk at a press conference. Apparently, because Jim Ross didn't control him, he was fired for that. Apparently, this comes from Dave Mel Meltzer, Metzer, whatever. <laughs> and it's on different uh, wrestling websites. Don't know if this is true. I doubt it. Why the fuck would Jim Ross get fired because of Ric Flair being drunk? To me, that sounds a bit retarded. If it is true, then fuck you, WWE. Fuck you for screwing Jim Ross. The guy should still be there every week calling the action. He still has the voice. He was, like I said, a big part of the wrestling experience. Calling the moves, getting us excited and shit about what was going on. Now it's just garbage. Oh, uh, Michael, uh... You gotta be professional, Michael. Oh, Triple H said this! Uh, you know, they don't even talk about the fucking match, and it's horrendous. So thank you, Jim Ross, for... Fuck. I don't know, 20-something years of... Motherfucking... Great uh, commentary. Great entertainment. Thank you, Jim Ross. He was a douchebag here and there on the internet, but... It's a different story for a different day, fifth. Alright, until next time. Peace.